So in this tutorial, we are going to implement singly linked list in C++. We have discussed about linked list in the previous tutorial and singly linked list is uh, just nodes. It is just a collection of nodes and which are just referenced using the pointers and when we are using a single pointer we will just say that it is a singly linked list so in this tutorial we are going to implement this linked list in C++ so the first thing that we are going to do is the first step is to create a structure node So we will create a structure node and we will this structure node will contain two parts one is the data and the second part is the pointer and whenever we want to create a new node we will just create a node a structure node which has similarly data and pointer and and so on so the first step is to create a structure node the second step is to allocate the structure in memory so after creating the structure node in the structure there will be two variables which will be containing data and the pointer to the to another structure you can think this part as of structure node because it contains data and pointer and similarly we are going to create a collection of nodes like this so the first part is to create a structure node and the second part is to allocate this structure in the main memory and we will use a predefined or we can say the default function malloc which is memory allocation function which is used to allocate the structure or you can say these these data elements in the main memory and the third step which we will do is we will finally assign values to the data to the data so now we are going to create a C++ program and the first thing that we will do is we will create a structure node So let's start our program with the we will skip the header files and we will create a structure node and we know that to create a structure I will write struct and node and in this structure I will declare two variables and these two variables are the data and I'm I'm assuming that the data is of type int because I'm taking an example which contains the data of type integer and the next thing that we need in the structure is the pointer and since we know that this pointer is pointing to another structure or you can say the next structure we will name it as next and since this pointer is pointing to the next structure its data type will be of structure node and this pointer will point to another structure node just like this so the first step is to create the structure the second step is to allocate the structure in the main memory and we are going to use the malloc function to do that so 
in the int main function what I'm just going to do is first of all I will just create I will assign this pointer head pointer as null let us suppose the first element of the link list is head and we will use this head uh, node to traverse through all the elements of the of our data so first of all i'm going to create a pointer struct node pointer and I will name it as head and I will mark it as null. So in this line I am creating a pointer uh, head which points to a structure and I am making that pointer as null. Uh, these all are capital letters N U L L. So let's suppose I want to create a link list with only three elements and the first element is head and let's suppose the second element is first and the next one is second so since we have three elements we are going to assign three pointers or you can say three pointers that point to these to the structure node and the next pointer will be second equals I'm going to make it null and the next pointer will also be null So we skip the first node so I'm going to write it now. So we are going to first make it null. So the first step we have already done is to create the structure node. The second step is to allocate the structure in memory. So before allocating you will have to just create the pointers to these elements and mark them as null. Now you can use these pointers to assign the values or to allocate the structure in the memory. So the second step is to allocate the structure to the memory. That means that we want to allocate head in the main memory. We are not assigning the value, we are first just uh, creating a space and we are just allocating this head structure in the main memory which is our second step so to uh, allocate the structure in memory we are going to use this syntax in the brackets you are going to create a pointer to the structure that you want to allocate followed by the name of the malloc function and in the malloc function you will have to specify the size the size of the node so we are going to use the size of function which is a built-in function and this function returns the number of bytes that our node will occupy in the memory so this is how our malloc function will look like we will first assign the pointer or you can say the reference to the structure node and then we are going to write this line which specifies number of bytes occupied by the structure node so the next step is to 
assign the first node and the second node so we are going to allocate memory to these two nodes as well so the steps are uh, the same you will first have to specify the pointer to the structure and the next thing you need to do is just write the size of function and allocate and this whole structure will get allocated in the main memory size of function is used to return the size in bytes so in this step you can say that this is our first step and this whole is our second step in the second step we are just going to assign all the nodes as null and to assign them as null we are going to create a pointer of that structure and then we will just use malloc function with the size of function to allocate these structures in the main memory remember that at this point we have not assigned the values which is 2 3 and 5 to these structures which is head first second and we have not even used pointers to refer to the next element so the third step is to assign values to the data and point to the next element so we're going to point it to the next element so i will just clear the screen and we are going to continue this so now we are going to assign the values of uh, head first and second node so since these are also the structure which has appearance like this so head has data as well as the next pointer first also has data and the next pointer and similarly the second also has data and next pointer so we know that if we want to access the members of the structure we will just write this line let's suppose i want to access the data the data variable of the structure head i will use a simple dash followed by this arrow and I will just assign the value to it so the first node was, was having the value 2 so I will write it like this so head has data 2 and the next thing that we are going to do is we will have to point to the next element so we have to assign the next pointer to the next element and we know the next element is first so we are going to write it like this so what we have done is we have just assigned the data of the structure head you can see that this has an appearance it is a pointer of the node itself though so it has data and uh, next pointer so we, we have used this operator to access the data and then we have assigned the data and the next step is to just specify this pointer or to assign this pointer to the next node 
and we know that the next node is first so we have assigned head next equals first and similarly we will assign the data to the first node also so the data of the first node is 3 so I will assign it 3 and since the second step is to point the next pointer of this structure to the next element of our data and we know that it is second so we will do it like this and similarly we will assign data to our second node and the data of our second node is 5 so I will write it 5 here and the next step is to assign the next pointer of this structure uh, of this node structure second and since we know that the last structure points to the null value since there are no more elements I will just mark it as null so next we are just going to write return 0 and then we will just close the braces so in this whole example we have just created we have just done these three steps and using these three steps we have implemented a singly linked list the first step is to create the structure node and the second step is to allocate that structure in the memory using malloc function and the third step is to assign the values to the data and point to the next element so the first in the first step we have created the node structure and the two elements are the data and the next pointer and then we have just assigned three structures using the pointer and we have assigned them as null in the next step we have allocated the memory to these nodes using the malloc function which accepts the size as a parameter so the size of function is used to return the number of bytes that our structure node will take to assign or to allocate this whole node in the memory which is our second step so the third step is since now you have allocated memory to of these nodes now you will have to assign the data of them so to assign the data you will use this operator dash followed by this arrow and then you will just assign it like this and the second step is to assign the next pointer to the next node which is first in our case and similarly we will do it like this and since when the element when the last element has come we will just assign it we will just assign the next pointer of this last structure as null which you can see this in this step and the reason why we are assigning it as null is because when we will traverse through all these elements uh, we will when the value becomes null we will get to know that our list has ended so in the next tutorial we are going to create some useful functions that will perform operations on these linked list and these functions will be uh, we will create a function display which will traverse through all the elements of the linked list and it will display the data we will also create a function insert after 
and this function will be used to insert elements in our existing link list and in the after a specific node so this whole program i will just suggest you to write this whole program in the c line ide and this will not give some output because it is just assigning the values of our structures and in the next tutorial we will use these functions to display the link list and to insert element in a link list and we will see how uh, we can do that we can do the traversal traversal means we are going to cover all the elements of the link list by displaying them that means that we are going to travel from one node to the another node so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching